Hi there guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'll be doing four reviews for you today, all individual reviews, a uh, couple of uh, affordable fragrances and couple of niche perfumes, okay? So today I don't have plans for lists, uh, perhaps tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Hopefully you're doing good and thanks all, thanks to all of you for watching the videos and leaving your comments, it really means a lot. So first fragrance here, I'm gonna show you House of Charlie. Uh, Charlie is a house many of you are not known uh, to or familiar with because this fragrance house is a very old fragrance house. You know, I remember our childhood time or school time, uh, this uh, brand, these perfumes in shelf of, let's say, uh, my mom or my aunties, you know, like if you go to different houses, these are the trend. These were the trend back in the days. Uh, mostly women would use it and men would use something like fragrance like Brut, Old Spice, you know, the Dracar Noir, that trend. So this basically is a fragrance of 90s, okay, 97, if I'm not wrong. And I have reviewed... Uh, quite a few. Let me show you what I'm going to review today. The box is a little bit enough, but the perfume is okay. It's called Charlie Silver. Okay, this fragrance right here, inexpensive budget perfume, and these are fragrances intended for women, but men can use it easily. So check out my Charlie Red, Gold, and Blue. I think I have done three before, and these kind of fragrances like uh, back in the days, Powerhouse. If you search by those, Joy Amin, you'll find some similar style perfumes. Just call me Maxi or a fragrance like Royal uh, Crown. I forgot the names. Many of this I do review. And some of you would ask like, Joy, you review a lot of these uh, desire niche perfume. Why do you have to review these cheap ones that, you know, these are not really considered as uh, perfumes or something. Uh, to me, I beg to differ because anything, you know, uh, in the perfume industry deserve to, you know, be talked about because people have used them. You know, they have had memories. So that's why I do these reviews. Perhaps if you had memories with these, you can connect. So let's go. These fragrances come, I think, in uh, multiple bottle sizes. Uh, I think uh, small ones and big ones. But in Bangladesh, we mostly find the big ones. These are in 100 ml EDD concentration. Once again, the box is a little bit enough. But it says Charlie Silver. Nice little signature there. And then it says Silver by Revlon. Okay, both sides do, does have the same thing. So if you see up there, nothing much. This is a very flimsy sort of a, a packaging. It says Bangladesh Taka is 750 Taka. So that's like, that reads like $10 or less in foreign countries like I used to remember back in the days it was like five dollars very inexpensive all our uncles you know if they go to Thailand or Malaysia they would bring back and then give to every family you know so when you open it nothing much the box is just a plain simple box very flimsy sort of and it's okay because it's a uh, budget perfume here's the bottle this is how that looks a simple uh, not elegant I would say this looks like a budget perfume okay to be honest the cap is also flimsy tall cap it says Charlie doesn't have a very snug fit it comes out very easily. Let me demonstrate to you. If I open, I mean, if I pick it up, the bottle falls. So don't uh, perhaps pick it up by the cap. Atomizer looks like that. Okay. I think some of the juice is missing. Uh, perhaps evaporated or used. I don't know. So I got it like this, you know. So it doesn't have a neck cover or anything. So it's, it's a budget perfume. You can tell all the way through. Uh, let's show you the, I have the right down here. Let's show you the sprayer. Sprayer actually is fantastic it's kind of like a surprising one let's check it out you see how far that shoots that sometimes you know catch you off guard so how many sprays this fragrance usually are not very long lasting back in the days i'll remember uh, if you have some of the older batches like charlie gold or blue or red they used to last all day these fragrances nowadays after so much reformulation um, you can expect not more than one to two hours and that's the longevity at least i got the gold one and Blue one perhaps lasts a little bit long, but not more than three hours. Women perhaps get better. But some people I heard say this one is a long lasting beast. And I was surprised because that's not the result that I have on my skin. Over longevity, one to two hours. Okay. So for the price range, the performance is kind of poor. Uh, but let's see how the smell goes. Actually, when you spray it, <laughs> uh, this is not very bad. It has kind of like alcohol blast in the first 15 seconds. So you don't smell it right up. Give it some time in the air, let it settle down a little bit. Then it starts showing its uh, notes. So first thing I get is green. If you like green perfumes, kind of like a fruity, floral, you know, simple fragrance, elegant, casual at the same time. This is the fragrance for spring and summer, okay? Really nice. It's just casual, a lily of the valley perhaps, something green. Green notes, just, just a green notes. There's peach. Uh, I think fragrance, uh, Fragrantica said also what? Lime, pear magnolia yeah, lily of the valley apricot and peach so those like deep fruity notes i don't get that much to be honest it's not big mouth-watering natural organic fruity net a fruity note 
but I definitely get that lily of the valley first thing that green notes and watery accords that hits me so there's thankfully there's nothing silver accord in this like metallic I don't like metallic fragrances that much they get me sort of like a headache imagine like an earthy mineral note sometimes you know they are kind of a <laughs> not my type so this fragrance actually can be used by men as well I can see it I mean if you are into fru fru fruity and mostly floral and green fragrance this could be a really nice rainy day fragrance okay if it rains out there you can smell the natural you know art arty smell you know after that rain goes down uh, in the soil and it brings out that natural arty smell this one has a little bit of it and then I think maybe mostly like the water falling on the grass or big trees that green watery effect I get it from this this is not an aquatic but you can get some synthetic apricot slash peach vibes remember those uh, jars you just put like those those fruits you know like processed fruits they chop it up and then put in a sort of like a bottle and then it comes like a fruit slash I don't know deep tin I don't know that what you call the juice <laughs> so concentrated uh, sugary syrup and then the fruits dipped inside this is what that apricot note smells like to me I like it I like it it reminds me of some of the other fragrances like some of the fragrances I smelled in Adidas and Nike uh, cool water of Lankers you know women's side this reminds me of those but this very much smells like a budget perfume it doesn't really blow me away I like it you know I like it for casual usage you know you can wear it casual you know carefree uh, nothing serious uh, I don't see this let's see where I cannot see this wearing I cannot see this wearing like a ballroom dancing graduation night weddings special occasion this is perhaps is not the fragrance that you want to wear but say college days you know they I think have a very small tiny little 15 25 mil those travel atomizers you can buy those this fragrance are good for let's say campus life you know if you're attending a lecture and you're just having like you know students this is a fragrance good for students school kids uh, this could be a first fragrance you know very basic perfume but it has little bit of matured about it you know it smells like maybe your mom is wearing this but you can give it as a school kid if you have a small budget you can give it to your mom but your dad perhaps will not wear it that much okay so it has a kind of like a green soft powdery uh, effect with that hint of fruits okay so it's a green floral fruity kind of aldehyde you know like bright sunny day this is what I feel the vibe with this perfume so is it something that I recommend not really I mean you can try the line if you're on extreme budget you can try these I'm not saying these are bad perfume for the price is pretty good even though the bottle cap presentation is a bit cheap but then the sprayer is good you know so under ten dollars you know that's what you're going to lose right so I would prefer the blue red and gold over this this one it's a little bit on the green side okay if you do not like green floral perfumes and uh, a little bit powdery uh, do not look this way but it's a nice fragrance for the price overall this rating for this fragrance I would give Charlie silver according to my likings perfume uh, smell and longevity I'll give it a six out of ten okay so Charlie silver that is the perfume review I think I covered four now if there are more I'll review them thank you very much for watching I'll see you soon good night from Dhaka Bangladesh bye bye